Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's uh, Chicago Trader checking in for the weekly fundamental video here. Hope you guys are having a nice start to October. Um, just want to run over a few quick names this week that moved. Um, nothing that really caught my attention like PSTV last week, but I uh, have one I think that might be similar, but I'll touch out to it uh, at the end of the video. Um, just a few of the names that went over, uh, moved this week. Uh, Vive, um, very small company, recent reverse split. Um, came out and actually it was up a uh, decent volume uh, they basically came out and said hey we dumped all of our atm i think the float was uh was a little bit under a thousand or a million um this thing was trading pretty good volume um basically i don't know this this bam sex website's being slow today so please bear with me uh, yeah so basically they dumped um all their atm um so base uh 1.4 million shares outstanding if you go to the chart in the last 60 days, uh, the highest closing price is 18. Um, the float basically, it's going to be the damn near the same as the outstanding shares. So um, if you take the 1.4 million times that 17, you're going to get um, right around 26 million uh, divided by three. So, um, you know, right just under 9 million. Uh, so you got, you know, they can't really raise much money. Problem is they dumped all this ATM. Um, and you know, they can only raise roughly about two million dollars if you, you know, through a direct offering. They do have this S1 out here, uh, to where basically once this gets amended and you know, probably gets effect, it's likely going to have some warrants, pre funded warrants, and the company's losing somewhere around three, three and a half million dollars a month. Uh, you know, when that's larger than your market cap, kind of a problem from a long term perspective, but still has a low float. Um, you know, can uh, definitely do some wild things. Uh, IMRN, I just want to go over this one real quick, not necessarily, um, you know, a deep dive on it, but uh, it's a foreign issue, as you can see, um, a lot of times people get confused with the uh, ADS or ordinary shares, all you have to do guys, a lot of times, this will even be in the, uh, um, the 10Ks and stuff, you know, they're offering the 339,000 ADSs, which is 40 uh, ODS, so it's 1 to 40 uh, ratio, if you guys want to be able to get the OS on that, you can see... This is on the uh, 28th of uh, February that large amounts of stock will be for sale under Rule 144. So if you read this first paragraph, uh, basically 20 million of the 69 million um, shares were restricted under Rule 144. Um, but under certain circumstances, they can be resold without a registration uh, pursuant to that rule. Uh, so basically after a certain period, usually six months, um, sometimes three, you can basically sell these shares of a pipe without a, a registration statement. So if you want to read a little bit more on some of the, uh, you know, kind of how it works, uh, it's right here. Again, this is kind of an anomaly, not something you're probably going to see. Uh, there's also some uh, preferred shares, so I'm going to dig into this one a little bit more. Um, last one, again, I, I apologize. This one's so short. I really uh, was trying to find some other things to dig into that move this week. Just personally didn't you know find anything too um, appealing. MEIP moved today. Uh, this is one. So if you guys have watched the ATM video or any videos that I do on a weekly basis, um, I talk about how much weight I give personally. The 10K is the most recent. If you come to the um, uh, Q3 here, uh, search the ATM. Bear with me for a second, everyone, if you will. So this again is as of uh, you know 519. They hadn't used uh, so as of March 31st, we have not sold anything, right? So if this thing was moving at this time, I personally would not 
think they're going to dump this ATM. However, when you come to uh, the 10K and you scroll through, it was to my pleasant surprise. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.